UK is banning adult films. What's up friends and welcome to Inform Overload. I'm your information overlord, AKA the Pompadour Prince Johnny Rogers. How many names do you have? <laughs> Too many names. Okay, and I'm the Potato Queen Charlotte Del Rey, the one and only. You only have one name to memorize for me. <laughs> I thought you were the Bacon King. No, they didn't like that. They, they, they did it? it off. Yeah. Ah, come on. You're going through an identity crisis. I know. So if you're new to the channel, we find the most interesting news stories on the internet and we make them more entertaining. But for real, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to stick around to the end where we will be answering some of your comments from previous videos. The UK government is implementing some new security features to all adult film websites with the hopes of protecting children. The Minister for Digital and Creative Industries, Margot James, said, Adult content is currently too far easy for children to access online. The introduction of mandatory age verification is a world first and we've taken the time to balance privacy concerns with the need to protect children from inappropriate content. She also went on to say, we want the UK to be the safest place in the world to be online, and these new laws will help us achieve this. Now, here's the problem. They're using a system called Age ID that allows you to enter in either your driver's license, a passport, or even a credit card. And once that's in, you can fully access any of the approved sites. So how hard do you think it'll be for a kid to just steal one of those from their parents and then have free reign over the internet forever? My guess is it won't be that hard. That's what she said. The new system will be enforced by the British Board of Film Classification, or BBFC for short. They'll be giving adult film websites a grace period to adjust their platforms to the new system before July 15th. After that, only websites with a green AV symbol will be permissible for people in the UK to access through the Age ID program. The websites will also have to create a landing page that will feature none of their mature content. Currently the only age verification for the majority of these websites is a simple click yes if you're over 18. With no way to actually check, the BBFC have been working on this new system to make adult films less accessible for children. Although this is a step forward on making the internet safer for children to browse, it still won't stop everything. It's a good dam to kind of block the water from coming in, but we see some cracks in the wall. For starters, there are millions of adult film websites. For the UK government to be able to approve and get this age ID system on every single one is pretty much impossible. Plus, for the more tech savvy teenagers who want to get around this in the UK, they could just use a VPN to trick the system. Don't tell your mom I said that. Now we're sure the government doesn't really care about these things and is just hoping to stop the majority who won't know a workaround. Although even that intention from the government isn't clear. Plus the original plan was to implement the system for April 2018 and it's been delayed this far. I wonder why. Because there's too many of them. They're also not taking into consideration the butterfly effect that happens after this. We have working models for this as well. You have countries with very strict internet censorship that feeds illegal behavior. A prime example is the war on drugs. When Richard Nixon declared this war on drugs, it was with the intention to make America a safer place. Now decades later, we see that it didn't become safer. It only directed people to the criminals, thus putting money in their pockets. Now imagine that was with adult film websites. Kids won't just give up on trying to find these things and if you're going to make it more difficult, you're going to just push kids to websites that may steal their identity or infect their parents computers with malware. The government themselves are concerned about sending kids to the dark web over their ban. In the government's own impact statement, they recognize this by saying adults and some children may be pushed to using TOR and related systems to avoid age verification, where they could be exposed to illegal and extreme material that they otherwise would have never come into contact with. Plus, Plus, you have to think about the process of storing all your identification and linking it to the things that you search. Giving the government this kind of power just lets them know which kind of adult films you like to watch. Kind of creepy and an invasion of privacy. I definitely don't want them knowing what I watch. No one does. Not only that, but when this kind of information is linked to a person, it's now at risk for hackers to expose it and use said information as blackmail. We already saw this happen with the site Ashley Madison where its users list was hacked into and exposed for everyone to see. The company had to pay out a whopping 11 million dollars just in compensation alone for this mistake in their security settings. We want to hear your thoughts on this story though, so comment down below with what you think about the UK putting harsher restrictions on adult film sites. Now let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Woman Found Frozen Solid Makes Incredible Recovery. Just Chill for Life says the raspberry in my freezer made an incredible recovery as well. It would be fine, but I ate it. Mm. Savage. 
That I makes me think of- I don't know whether to think that that's yummy or gross. Is it gross? <laughs> kind of gross. It's gross. I, I just think of the uh, the gingerbread man in Shrek that's like, you're a monster. You're a monster. You're a monster. <laughs> KCAL KJJ says, haha, you were pretty close to the accent, just a little too much Canadian. Yeah, people oh. were commenting on your accents. I saw Minnesota. Yeah, I was doing a Minnesota accent the other yeah, day. Minnesota. Minnesota. It's kind of Canadian, I guess. I mean, Minnesota is basically Canada. Basically. Basically Canada. Outcast Drawing says, so getting frozen is like hibernating? Well, hell, sign me up. Mm-hmm. I could go for a good nap right now. Go for it. Michael the Pickle said, I can't tell you what the temperature is because by the time you read this, it will have changed by about 50 degrees. Hashtag Ohio weather. Right. Sounds like Toronto. And remind me never to go to Ohio. Ohio. Remind me never to go to Ohio. 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 That's what I keep Ohio. trying to say. Moving on. <laughs> Mike Carter says, "I left a like. You're awesome, but please don't do that Minnesota accent again." LOL. Don't tell me what to do. I'm gonna do whatever I want to do, eh? Yeah, bud. Yeah, for sure. Okay, thanks for watching Inform Overload. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you want more videos like this, just uh, click that playlist over there that's flashing on your screen. And if you find any new stories that you want us to cover, send us a DM to the Inform Overload Instagram page. If we like it, you may just see your story on our channel. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna do that for sure. From Inform Overload and Minnesota, I'm Johnny Rogers. And I'm Charlotte Dobre. And? Until next, next time, take care.